Doo -doo 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 -doo. Magic for normies. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Magic for Normies. We are back. It is I, Pixie Kitten, and I'm here with none other than the magic with the Zuby. I actually got the shirt, too. Oh, you got the merchandise. We got the merchandise tonight, the folks. Merch. Let's the go. Merch. Okay, this is, um, we are branded. We are ready to go. Let's do this. Zuby has um, got, the Midnight Hunt lantern over there, so. To help me get through the dark. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Um, yeah, we haven't had an episode here in some time. I think it's been at least a month. Um, yeah, so here here we are. We're back. The normies are back, folks. I mean, worry no more. You don't have to be sad any longer. Here we are. And we are going to talk about everything Midnight Hunt and everything Magic oh God. The Gathering and There's everything so much. Magic Showcase and all There's of There's so much. Oh, my gosh. 2022 Magic stuff. So we're going to be here all night, people. All night. We're going to, we're going until the sun rises. Yes, that's right. And then we have to go back underground because we're really vampires. That's speak for yourself. I'm a werewolf. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Zimby's a werewolf. Okay. Well, I'm a vampire and Zimby's a werewolf. And so that's fine. Yeah. We're like warring against each other, but yep. it makes sense. So it, it tracks. It tracks. Um, and I write two pixie kitten streams in one day. Dang. I know, right? Let's go. Um, hey, Bobby Christine, what is up? Hey, Bobby. Hey, Pat Crack Thiever, what's going on? September is off to a good start, right? So it is. Far, That's because you streamed yesterday, too. Right? Yeah. Oh, average of one pixie stream a day, so I guess I have to keep it up. Let's go. Yeah, tomorrow. Let's, uh, we'll see let's do happens. something tomorrow. We'll, we'll play some EDH tomorrow. Come on, Efren. Let's do it. Ooh, that sounds like fun, actually. I might, I've, like, legit be down for that. I've got a new uh, Corvald deck. <gasps> oh, you built that your Corvald deck. Up. Yes, my Corvald deck. Ooh, that's it's, exciting. It's my, my food Corvald deck. I love it. Um, So I was thinking about my next my next deck build might be um, Guillaume. Um. Oh, oh, the, the chef one? The chef, yes. Hey, Pat Crack Fever, thank you for the gifted sub. Oh, dang. Yes. Um, so, and I was thinking about making that a food thing, but, like, I don't want too similar of a deck than what you have. But, I mean, we could just, like, not oh, play cares? them at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I was... Because mine's more, um... Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm trying to make mine try to get as many food tokens as possible. Mm-hmm. To, to just have Corvald then just eat them all up. Okay, gotcha. So the so the one I was thinking about building, it was more like artifact stuff because okay. when you make all you make the food tokens, that's what Guillaume does. Um yeah. and so food tokens are artifacts, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, they yeah. are. Okay. Um, and it was like more of an artifact based thing and you have a lot of artifact fun artifact stuff. Which, oh, that sounds way different than mine. Yeah, and I and it's definitely like out of my wheelhouse too because I don't usually do things with artifacts because I just kind of think they're scary. Oh, they can be. Yeah, very scary. Yeah. So, anyways, that's cool. I'm yeah. If you have a new deck, like that sounds amazing. So yeah, we should play really soon. Yeah, it's yeah. been. I feel like it's been forever since it I've actually really played has. Magic. I mean, I don't really count Arena though. Like, yeah, it's not the same. It's, it's not really same. not. Yeah. Like the historic brawl that came out is, mm -hmm. it, it's not bad, but you have to make sure you're playing a competitive deck. It's not very casual. Oh. And it, but it's sort of like 1v1 commander. Yeah. But, I mean, it's better than playing any of the other formats pretty much. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I haven't tried it, but I know a lot of people like the Historic Brawl, so if it makes people happy, that's great, I guess. Yeah. Whatever. It's um, one step closer to Commander on Arena. I know, right? So, what what else has been up with you lately, other than you building your new Corvald deck? Um, I gotta go to Texas next week. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah. Exciting. For work? Yeah, for work, okay. unfortunately. Yeah. Um. 
and it's only for a couple days and then i come right back uh -huh. and then God, what else has been up not much really it's um got a new drain field oh yes for your, <laughs> for your septic system well that's exciting yeah. i mean you've had so much trouble with it so you know that's a good thing so hopefully all that flood saga is behind us and Oh god, yeah, when they when they dug up the old drain field, oh god, that thing was I think you've seen some of the pictures of it. Yeah, it's just I did. Oh god. It was bad. <laughs> how did that thing ever survive? I know, how did it last so long, honestly? Right. Is the real question. Drain field is also food based. Efren, sure. don't ever say that again. That is gross. Okay. Please, Efren, don't. No. Now, other than that, I mean, I got the whole new Midnight Hunt box Ooh, that Wizards yes. of the Coast sent. Yes, we want to see your lantern. So, um, the that lantern is so cute, and I love it. It's got oh, I know, the symbol it's, on it. It's adorable. Like it it's, really is. It's the perfect little like fall accessory. Oh, it is so so. I, I like the story of how I found it. I, I I've been going for walks every day or trying to because nice. it's been raining the past couple days yeah um but i went for a walk and when i came back i saw this box and it's completely nondescript box okay and and usually when we've gotten stuff from wizards before or at least i've noticed the the address it's coming from is like something from washington or something oh okay mm -hmm. and but this time it said it came from tennessee and i'm all like who oh, what the hell is this weird yeah so i'm like i i, I wasn't thinking it was gonna be the the, the box right yeah and so i first pick it up and not even opening it holy shit you could smell apples just oh, like oh so it smelled it. like apples a little bit too much okay okay <laughs> so was it the actual little apples that smelled like the apples yeah yeah oh. okay. yeah i haven't tried any of the apples i, I will admit i'm i'm sure watsy hasn't sent us any bad apples or anything but I'm still a little hesitant because, you know... Well, they're not real, right? No, they are real. What? Th there's a few that are not real that you can obviously tell, but they're, they're, there's a whole bunch that are real apples. What? Yeah. They're real. It's real. It's a real apple. Yes. What? Yeah, and I'm not exactly trusting it. <laughs> are you supposed to eat it? I I don't know. See, that, that's what I'm worried about. Like I said, why don't you I like, don't... cut it up? Like make apple I sh slices. I should. I should. It, it's um maybe I'll do that after the stream just to test it. Um yeah, Watsy knew about my food. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, here you go, Zuby. We got some food for your food day. Right, right. It's um like I said, I don't think Watsy would purposely send me something bad like food wise, but it's still you know. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's I, it's food. It can go bad. Yeah. yeah. It's just when, especially if someone I don't even really know sends me food, I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I trust it. Why do you think it's like a poison apple? It's like, here, Ooh, that would be very fitting. Poison with the, apple. It would be very fitting with the theme of the set, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Maybe you'll turn into a werewolf if you eat one. Ooh. <gasps> that would be worth it, right? I don't know. Oh, you don't want to be a werewolf? It'd be cool, but it feels like it'd be really itchy. Oh, with the fur? With the fur, and then, oh. like, as I go roaming around out in Florida getting shot, yeah. and then fleas. Yeah, fleas. Oh, I'd, get Oof. I'd get shot, like, instantly being in, down here in Florida. Oh, yeah, that's true. Being a vampire would be much better. Well, see, that that's the thing. It's, I don't know how it is in Tennessee, but if you're a vampire in Florida, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you need to find a food source, which is someone's blood, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You got to watch out for the Florida men and Florida women okay. who, who might have the Florida meth in their bloodstream. Right, right. <laughs> you don't want to be a vampire addicted to a meth person, you know? You don't, you don't want meth blood. Not even once. Not even <laughs> once. You cannot eat a meth person not even once. Don't do it. Nope. No. No. That, that'd be my only thing about not wanting to be a vampire in Florida. Mm. Well, God, if I was a vampire, I would not live in Florida. Hell no. Uh-uh. No, no Where would you live? Like, if you were a vampire, and, you know, like, vampires, they live forever as long as, you know, they don't get staked in the heart or their head chopped off. Right. Or as long as they're not in the sun. You know, where would you want to go? I would definitely travel. Like, definitely travel. A lot. 
all over. Yeah, I mean, like, like you're a vampire. Like you can do whatever you want. Like you don't have to work. You just like t- like charm people and take money or whatever. Right, like, you just get right. whatever you want. I would definitely travel like all over the world. <gasps> I wonder would, if would there be a can base though. That, ooh, so so in True Blood, uh, one of the things that vampires can get is like um, a, a, another version of hepatitis or something because that's a blood because that's a blood thing yeah yeah but covid's not a blood thing no it's a viral thing so so i think vampires probably can't get covid i don't know if i'd want well we'd let other vampires go and make sure they test it out test it out first yeah let the dumb one the young dumb ones go and then we'll and then we'll go yeah i don't like like i would live um somewhere like really remote like i don't know like um montana or something away talk about from... remote it, is it no no I'm, I'm just saying talk about remote yeah montana. like that like as a vampire that's where i would live but i would travel a lot yeah. i would travel all over the world all the time but like my home well, base i would like live on the mountaintop in montana or well, something i would say the downside to montana right now would be you probably wouldn't want to live there for too long because of global warming. Mm. And with how pretty much California, Oregon, and Washington are probably just going to run out of resources, like yeah. water and all that shit. They're, Fall you know, they're just the going to keep, they're all going to keep moving to the east. Mm. So maybe I'd go up to Canada. Yeah. Like, are vampires, are they impervious to cold normally? Like, in well, most it fiction? depends on the lore. Um, okay. Usually, no. Usually they're fine with cold. So, and usually okay. they don't breathe either. Okay. But it depends on the lore. There's different yeah. type, There's different types of vampires. And, yeah. Okay. You know, it's hard to say. Um, but yeah, what, what were we talking about? Oh, just what I've been up to. Um, but that's about it for me. What about you? Oh, oh. what we've been up to lately. Um... Oh, I did remember something else real quick. I got yeah. my secret layer. My um, I the, saw that. The, the shows on Friday. Oh I my god, Pixie. So, oh, you did? Did you get it yet? I, yes, I did. I did. Oh my, so I loved the art, like um, just the pictures of it. But when you finally have the cards, it looks ten they're, times better. They're awesome. Those are so good. Yeah. Yeah. I got um, our show is on Friday. God. Yes, and I got oh, the so Jund, good. the the Culture Shock Jund oh, set too. Nice. Yeah, because that's my favorite color pairing. And that Jund. Panharmonicon. Yes, I love it. How'd you get the Panharmonicon though? Because I got freaking, I got a freaking stained glass planeswalker, and I was like, this is trash, and I immediately ripped it up. <laughs> <'Cause>... <laughs> no, I, I didn't rip it up, but I was like, um, what is this? It, it's apparently random. Okay, damn. It's, it's like, and and I already looked up the price of it. Someone was selling it on eBay for a hundred bucks, and I'm all like, ooh. <gasps> ooh, I wonder is that listed on Card Sphere? Like, it might not be just because it's sort it, of those one-off yeah, weird ones. It's not listed on Card Sphere mm. yet, but if you are interested in getting a lot of awesome singles and sealed product for a great price, CardSphere.com is your place to buy or trade your magic singles. Yeah, it. It's legitimately where I get all my magic cards. Oh, and that's where how I, I built my Corval deck. Cards. Yeah, yeah. It's it's. I got every single card out of my Corval deck came from Card Sphere. Well, not every single one, but say ninety percent of it yeah. came from Card Sphere. Yeah. See, okay. Bobby Christine is saying I thought Panharmonicon was in that secret layer because it's a musical instrument for that that musical set because it's like our band is playing on Friday night. I yeah. thought. When I saw you, when I saw your picture, I was like, "Oh, cool! I'm gonna get that." That's too. what I thought too. Yeah, I thought but it was themed, apparently it's, but it's random. Not. Yeah. So yeah, like um, what was it? We saw in our Discord, Colin and Lev got like an island or something, mm-hmm. or, or land or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Unfortunately, yeah, I got st- I got a stained glass planeswalker. I didn't remember <laughs> who who it was. It wasn't it Soren. Wasn't... It was somebody lame. Like Jay Certiferi. Yeah. One of those trash blue ones <laughs> or something. Um, yes. Yeah, so, um, so what I've been up to lately? I mean, um, I was visiting with my family for a while because right. um, my sister. Your niece. 
Well, my sister who lives in St. Thomas was visiting my parents in Knoxville, which is three hours away from me. I live in Nashville. And um, I hadn't seen my sister in, you know, over a year. So, and she had a baby. She actually, she had a boy. Um, so I got- Oh, I'm sorry. Baby. I thought- It's I thought fine. It's niece. Yeah, no, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's not, I didn't like post picture or anything. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, so I got to meet my nephew for the first time and he was real cute. And he was just like a little butterball, real chunky. He was a very <laughs> sweet baby. Very good. Um, so I was visiting with my family for a little while. That was last it, week. Wasn't it last week? Yeah, last week. And then um, not really much else that I've been up to. I did open a box of Modern Horizons 2 this Oh my past god, and it was some freaking good pulls. Yeah, it was so good. I had gotten it for my birthday at the beginning of August, and I hadn't had a chance to open it uh, yet. But I knew I wanted to open it on stream because I love doing box openings on stream. Um, and For yeah, fun. it was so good. Um, I uploaded the VOD to my YouTube, but like, I'm just going to tell you, like, I got the monkey. I know, right? You got Best the monkey. Best card on the set. Got the you monkey. Got two Misty Rainforests. I got two Misty Rainforests. I got an Urza Saga. Oh, that's right. You got that too. Yeah. Dude, you should just throw away those Misty Rainforests. Send them to me. They're garbage. I already They're sold terrible. them on Card Sphere. I know. So. I saw. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I no, sold you... all of my good cards like real fast. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. It was a really good box. Like, it was a really good box. So that was exciting. I know. I know. Like, you got some. What were some other good pulls you got? Um, I got that Aether Vial. Um, oh, my gosh. That's right. That is. So that, that is a ridiculously a good modern card. Oh. Was it's a played card? a lot in Tron or Merfolk, I think. Ugh. Something like that. Ooh. Gross. I can't remember. I don't play modern anymore. Yeah. I got a decent goblin, goblin chieftain, or something like that. Maybe I don't remember. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I, I got a ton of good stuff. I mean, the monkey was the best, but oh yeah. But yeah, it was a. Really I'm surprised good you sold box. the monkey. Well, I mean, the monkey's worth a lot of money, so yeah. I, I mean, I don't blame you. Yeah, I just, but. I just thought, I mean, I'll probably, oh, I probably, I probably won't ever play it. Yeah. I just. I don't know. Like, what kind of deck does the monkey go in? Like, I pretty much only play Commander. That's the only reason I would have it. And I play a lot of decks with red, but... It's not even that great in Commander, if yeah. I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not what people want it for, right? It's it, it's, it's modern, modern and Legacy, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I just sold it. But, I'm, but like, I sold four cards. I sold... Um, I sold the monkey and the Urza Saga and the two Missy Rainforests, and I got like $140 for those four That's cards. That's great. That's awesome. On Card Spear. And I need to go through some more of those and sell some of my other good cards as well. But yeah, I was like, sweet. So yeah. that was oh, That's fun. awesome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've been up to lately. Um, and you've been playing more of that song of farka yeah i've been doing my i've been doing my regular weekly streams playing song of farka i really really enjoy it um it's just fun like it's just a relaxing game to play i just really enjoy it are you getting close to beating it you think or? i have no idea like i have no okay. idea how long it is um every time i like play it i, I like do i like complete it like a case yeah. And I'm just like, I don't know how long this is going to go on. Like, I literally have no idea if there's, like, one more case or if there's, like, 15 more cases. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't seem like the story, you can't tell the way the story's progressing if you're getting near the end or something? Or... I mean, the story is progressing, but, yeah, no, I can't tell. Okay. I can't. I can't tell what's happening. Sweet. Yeah. It's fun, though. Oh, um, it looks fun. Yeah, but so, but let let's talk about Midnight Hunt because we saw yes. a bunch of new cards came out today. Um, I this morning I watched the um the the set stream. I did a I did a watch party for that. That was really fun. Mm -hmm. And we got to see um Jimmy and Joe. Joe Manganello. Talk about some really cool cards. 
Um, okay, so first first things first, did you ever... Okay, so we were going to look up to see if our predictions for the set came true. Did you find it, what our predictions I, I, were? I couldn't find no. it. Oh, I, shoot. I, okay. I thought, I thought we writ written it down somewhere, I but I cannot... So too. I, I can't find it, though. I don't remember what we said, but I kind of think we might have said something about, like, the moon changing maybe? and maybe like a card flips oh no i think i said something about like when it when the full moon comes out because uh, all the cards flip or something and you turn into a werewolf and there's kind of that yeah there is that sort of yeah, i'm still trying to look to see if i've so i couldn't find anything on the google doc sheet i'm trying to see if there's something on one of my podcast drives yeah i just for don't it. remember yeah, I don't think. Uh, next time, I will say we'll it, write it somewhere. Down. We'll write yeah. it down for sure. Um, so let's talk about let's talk about the new mechanics. Oh, that are yes. in this set dude, first, dude. Some of the mechanics are awesome. Yes, like, they're so flavorful. Like my favorite know, one right? so far has been disturb. Disturb. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit further down there. Okay, yes, I see uh, it. Like, ju just, you may cast this card from your graveyard transform for its disturb cause. That's, like, so f flavorful. It's yes. amazing. Okay, so we're looking at this card right here, Bait Hook Angler. And um, it it's is... It's a common 2-1. Yeah, it's a 2-1 it's a human. Okay, it costs 1 and a blue to cast... And it has a Disturb 1 blue. You may cast this card from your graveyard, transform for its Disturb cost. So you play it, you play the regular card first. You know, the creature dies, whatever, goes to your graveyard. Then you can play it from your graveyard. <gasps> and it comes back as a spirit. Yes. Hook Haunt Drifter. It is a 1 2 spirit with flying. If Hook Haunt Drifter would be. Puts into a graveyard from anywhere else. Exile it instead from anywhere. Okay, so do these commonly get exiled after they've been disturbed? Oh, after they... Oh, so like if the disturbed part dies? Yeah, what happens to it? Does it just go in the graveyard? Well, this one specifically says if Hook Haunt oh, oh, would be Hook put Haunt, into oh. a graveyard, exile it instead. Yeah, so I guess that's a question. Do all of them do the same thing? I don't know. Hmm. Let's see if we can find more Disturb cards. I'm looking at Scryfall. Yeah, me too. I'm just going to scroll through real quick and see if maybe everything, every Disturb thing, maybe. I just, like, I, I feel like it is such a flavorful. Um, it's really cool. Mechanic for something, let's set like this. Oh, yeah, because you bring it back as a ghost. Like, it's awesome. Okay, so the Beloved Beggar is a white card. It also has Disturbed. Disturbed yeah, it gets for white, white. Too. Oh, it does. Yep. If yeah. Generous Soul be put into a graveyard, exile instead. Okay, so that's definitely something to hmm. remember. But it's still good. Like, it's you still get to play it twice. Yeah, and then if it... If they do come out with a really good Disturbed card, you can always, you know, bounce it back to your hand, too. Yeah. To be able to play the front-facing card. Sure. You know. Yeah, if you have disturbed it, that's a, that's a good Ooh, idea. And I didn't even notice, like, the disturbed part in the top left, it has a sun, and then the back part has a moon. Yes. Uh, yeah. I didn't notice that. It's so cool, right? Oh, man. This yeah. is freaking... I love it. I absolutely love it. That's a pretty it... good one. Yeah, like a lot of the flavor of this so far really harkens back to the OG Innistrad. It's so good. Yeah, like it's um, I'm I'm getting pretty excited, and I can't wait to draft this already. Yeah, we don't even have to see the whole set yet. It's gonna be fun. Um, Bobby Christine says that Coven is my she is. Okay, so let's look at the Coven mechanic. What's Coven do. Um, okay. Coven is an ability word that's used to highlight abilities that get better if you control three or more creatures with different powers. Mm. Okay, so this card here, oh, Candlelit okay. Cavalry. 
It has Coven. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control three or more creatures with different power, Candle Lit Cavalry gets Trample until end of turn. That's not bad for a common. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. And yeah. There's... Um, here's another Some one. Some coven abilities are activated. Candle yep. Trap. <laughs> it's a uh, has defender. Prevent all combat damage will be dealt by enchanted creature. Mm-hmm. So it's an enchanted creature. You can pay two and a white, sacrifice candle trap, exile enchanted creature, activate only if you control three or more creatures with different powers. Ooh. Hey. Okay. okay. That's so interesting. It's, it, it's like a weird kind of pacifism mm -hmm. where, you know, you enchant it and they can't attack or block. But this, this allows you to exile the creature, though. That's pretty good. So honestly. they can't attack. They can't attack, but they can still block, which may save your butt if it's a really good creature. Yes. That your opponent has. Yes, and then hope. Like I guess the goal is eventually to be able to exile it. Yeah. Once you have the right creatures, three or more That's creatures nice. with different power. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you must control a coven only at the time you activate the ability. Once you legally activate the ability, it doesn't matter what creatures you control or what their powers are as the ability tries to resolve. Ooh, that's good to know. Oh, okay. Interesting. And then they even show an instant with coven. Mm-hmm. Basically like a, a giant growth to pump your creature up plus two, plus two. And then if, then if you have coven, you can draw a card. That's... Wow, like, Ooh. green needs to get even better, right? Right? Green needs more card Green draw. is definitely lacking the card draw. Oh, my gosh. This is such a good card because green has been struggling for so long. It is. Like, green's garbage. I know, right? I'm so glad. I don't know if you've noticed that. Yeah, I have. I have noticed it. Creature with different power is a very clever wording. It uses the game mechanic, but sounds like it's referring to a diverse coven. Ooh, that's true. I love it. That's very cool. Did we miss? Uh, did we already talked about the daybound mechanic, right? We have not. We have oh, not. Oh. oh, we just briefly. We went straight down to disturb. Oh yeah, I suck. Sorry. No, um... it's fine. We have not talked about daybound <clears throat> and nightbound yet. I and think this that is, is a very cool one. Oh yeah, especially for it being the werewolf set too. Oh, I love it. Yes, it's so yeah. good. And the little token it comes with too. How, how token has both sides, day and night. Oh yeah. Ooh. Where was? Could I see one of those? Oh, yeah, little yeah, yeah, bit day. Okay. Yeah, the token day. If it becomes day or night, or if a daybound permanent enters the battlefield, track day and night for the rest of the game. Ooh. So that's out there once it happens. It's like So it's like City's Monarch. Blessing. Oh, or Monarch, yes. too. Yes! Yeah. Ooh, we're so smart. I, I don't even know if right? we're normies anymore. Oh my gosh. Oh god, are we turning into <gasps> we're pro players. nerds? Oh my god, we're pro players. I mean, well, yeah, I mean... Obviously, duh. We're, we're 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 the new form of pro players. Where we're um, you know, I, actually, I'll shut my mouth. I won't say anything. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> we're gonna talk about day bound and night bound, and we're not gonna talk about pro players. Yes. Okay. So I th so this is a bit different from the other. So we've never really had day night before, but we've had other kind of transform cards. Yes. Uh, back back in um, Shadows of Renistrad, it was some where like a werewolf would transform if no one cast any spells during their turn. Right. Then you then you flip the card over, and if someone cast one or two spells on their turn, it flips back. Yeah. So this one, the day. If a player casts no spells during their turn, it becomes night the next turn. And then if a player casts at least two spells during their own turn, it becomes day next turn. <gasps> so th so that's different because let's say that I'm playing a werewolf deck and all of them transform. Um, if you try to play two spells, um, like the turn th on the next turn, it's not going to affect my werewolves at that point. Because oh. it, it only matters when it's my turn. 
if someone casts two spells. Oh, gotcha. And that, that's that's a very different compared to how it used to be. Right. Ooh, that's interesting. It's it's it it might take some getting used to for me. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, because the, yeah, this they've never done this before, and and I like mm -hmm. how. I like how they've worded it too. Like this token is going to be very useful too to help keep track of it. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, but it's really cool. I I mean I think the ability is cool. I'm I love it. Um, so oh yeah, let... it's freaking. And I think we've yeah. seen. Hasn't there been one card already? Uh, previewed today where the, the tavern like, ruffian. Well, the, not not just the tavern ruffian, but um. Was there another one? Oh, it's that it's that new uh, werewolf commander. <gasps> Ooh, let's look at it. That's right. That's right. Um, the Tovalar, Toval yes. dire overlord. So, so up. this is freaking cool. So, uh, whenever a wolf or werewolf you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. But the cool part is the second part of that. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control three or more wolves and or werewolves, it becomes night. Then transform any number of human werewolves you control. <gasps> so that affects not just the Midnight Hunt werewolves, but every Ooh, other werewolf printed them. before. Yeah, yes. the old ones too. Oh, so Ooh, good. Ooh, that is so cool. Yeah. I love it. Okay, and then um, when he transforms... Oh! <gasps> He when it deals combat so damage, you draw a card, then you can pump it up. Target wolf or werewolf you control gets X and O, gains trample until end of turn. Okay, whenever a wolf or werewolf you control deals combat to a player, draw a card. Yep. So you could essentially be drawing a shit ton of cards, especially if you've oh, given your things trample. Yeah. Oh, shit, whenever A, so it's... Yeah, oh, Whenever shit. a wolf or werewolf, yeah. Ooh, that's good. So you could have a bunch of, like, four werewolves out there. Give them all trample. Boom. You're drawing four cards, <laughs> baby. Oh, my God, Efren. I'm making a to Tovalar deck with no creatures. Efren, listen, that is a creature. So you can't possibly do that. I feel like he's copying someone really famous within the magic community. Right? Who's made a deck similar to that. Yeah. And that's what they're really popular and known for. Mm-hmm. Efren. So. Come on. It's your own idea, Efren. I really like um, Tovalar, and I want to build a Tovalar deck too, but don't you just feel like everybody's going to be building this stuff? Oh, yeah. I, I, everyone's <laughs> going to be building it. Yeah, maybe there will be more where um, legendary creature werewolves come out, so there will be yeah. more options. Hopefully. Well, I mean, this has been something that players have been asking for years for a playable werewolf commander. Yeah. I think they tried to make one in Shadows, but it was absolute garbage. Oh, it was trash. Yeah, this one yeah. is really good and only costs three to cast. Yeah. I love it. No, it's like finally there's something useful yeah for werewolves it's cool um are there any other oh wait let's okay let's let's just shift gears and talk about the alternate arts too because um tovalar has one um the That's art right. what did they call the... what did they call this special art yeah what did they call it again the um um the showcase equinox the showcase that's equinox right. card that's yes. right that's right yes uh, okay so it has a special border and it's almost in this like comic book style art i love it it's i love it so freaking good right and, and i love again in the top left corner the sun and moon on oh each side oh my god i know i know <laughs> it, it's so good like i love it i love everything about this they it is really freaking good it looks pretty similar to the eldraine ones as well like oh, the, the the border showcase. does yeah the border it, the border the, the border does but the art not is, the art style yeah, yeah the art is more like ikoria the comic book style yes and i love it i i i think combining those two things look really amazing chevy equinox secret layer efren 
They're not making a Chevy Equinox secret layer. Oh, we'll be talking about or the secret layers they? they've got. Ooh. <laughs> you well, already knew well, I mean, first, folks. Well, I mean, Watsy's sponsoring a soccer team. Why not the Chevy Equinox? That's right. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. A a every Chevy Equinox you buy, you uh, get a uh, a random Equinox, Equinox uh, card. showcase card. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Worth it. We're, we're so gonna the, have the more Chevy here. Equinox you get, the more of a chance you get of getting a special showcase card. That you can't get anywhere else. Exactly. So now you have to buy a friggin' car to get these special cards. At least once a week. <laughs> How do you buy a car once a week? When you're rich, you know, like you, you, you know, we, we you don't have you don't get that Watsy money that they give us. No, I'm missing out. Obviously, I need to talk no. to somebody. Yeah, t talk to um, talk to Gavin. Gavin, what's up, Gavin? Yo. <laughs> um yeah so let's talk about what else do you want to talk about there's a bonus card hidden somewhere in your chevy oh my god you have to just find it it's in like your cabin filter or something and you're wondering why your your ac is blowing that new card smell oh your whole car <laughs> love it the new card smell I love oh it. man uh, what's it? Isn't there, there? There's another kind of showcase treatment they're doing too. The, there uh, is. There was the black and white. Um, yeah, and yeah. Let's did, look at this. Did they only show the Sigarda black and white one? Was there? There were any a couple others? of creatures. Well, there. Okay, so there's the lands. Yeah. The yeah. Because the full art lands, we'd already seen those. Yeah, we we talked about those whatever episode ago. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I thought, oh yeah, there's um Sigarda and the Sigarda was Jadar. one of them. Jadar or okay. Jader. We're gonna go to Skyfall. I, oh yeah, Jadar. Yes. Oh, that's right. At the beginning of your end step, if you control no creatures with decayed, create a two-two black zombie creature token with decay. Oh, they didn't talk about that in the mechanics article um, did they decayed they talked about it on the stream today but it's not yeah. in this article though decay uh, yeah did we no we didn't miss it yeah, yeah. decayed was um it what, says what, what? it can't it can't block when it attacks sacrifice it at the end of combat no but there's something where if you control no creatures with decayed create a 2-2 two -two, it can't block oh okay I thought, I thought there was something else with Decade. Is that it about it? Um, Maybe. I think that, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all oh, that okay. Decay is. It's a pretty cool zombie flavor mechanic. Yeah, for um, sure. I just thought there was something else to it, though. Maybe maybe not. Decayed. It can't block. When it attacks, sacrifice it at the end of combat. Yeah, no, that's it. Oh, sack at the end of combat. Okay, okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. So. When you oh, create it the was two, in a two different zombies. set. The commander set. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I oh. guess. This, oh, the zombie the, the, commander. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, okay. It is really the, confusing. Listen. Yeah, this is because. <laughs> a lot. They're, they're saying that. Yeah, because they showed the zombie commander. Oh, yeah, this is uh, it, I think. W is... Will Helt, the Rot Cleaver. It is a legendary <laughs> creature zombie warrior. Whenever another zombie you control dies, if it didn't have decayed, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token with decayed. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice a that's... zombie if you do okay. draw a card. Okay, that that's what it is. Okay, yeah. okay. So... That's not decay. That's that specific creature, which is yeah. cool. Oh yeah, that that's a really good zombie commander. That'd be a yeah. fun one. Yeah, and that's one of the precons. Yeah. I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that that's why we didn't really see decayed elsewhere. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So there's there's like a there's like a borderless. There are some borderless cards too, like Arlen. So. Arlen, the new Arlen Planeswalker has three different versions because 
Right, yeah. There's the regular version, there's the showcase Equinox version, and then there's this full art borderless card. A mama werewolf. I mean, I love this art so much. I guess she's, like, younger here. Yeah, people were speculating this may be uh, her pre-Spark version before she became a Planeswalker. But when you... But she is a Planeswalker. Oh, well, okay. No, yeah, she's yeah, yeah. Art. Yeah, the art is showcasing what she, how she may have been before becoming a planeswalker. Gotcha. At least that—that's what people are speculating. I have no idea. Yeah, I like the even the werewolf side of this card. She clearly like looks younger and smaller. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I like all of the different art styles. I really like. Is there not a name for the black and white ones? I guess not. Uh, no, I thought there was. There was, um... I can't find it. Um, Eternal Night. <gasps> Etern- oh, Showcase Eternal Night. Yes. Gotcha. Okay, so yeah, there's so many different styles. Okay, and then there's draft boosters, and then there's the set boosters, like usual. So, one thing that people are already getting up in arms about Yes. The set boosters Ooh, is. What are people um, upset about? They're saying that there in the set boosters there will be commander cards that will not show up in any precon, like like cards that are not in the normal Innistrad set that you can't draft, but they would show up in the set boosters. So they're maybe so they're in the commander precons. No, they're not. But, but they just... have the commander precon symbol. Oh, that is kind of weird. It, it is. They've never done this before. Yeah. But the whole thing that it doesn't really, I don't know, to me, it's not that big a deal because it's, if it's not going to normally show up in a draft booster, then, you know. What is Whatever. It l- 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 yeah, let ha- let set boosters be its own thing because set boosters are meant for cracking open, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Now, if it was something where they were normal Innistrad set cards that didn't show up in draft boosters, yeah, that'd be something different. But since these are made mm-hmm. just for commander, it's you know, whatever. It, it's, hmm. Think of it like a list card, right? Okay. You know, yeah. it's basically the same thing. It's a list card, essentially. That so, and is there's a, just a chance of that being in there. It's not even yeah. like necessarily a guarantee. Yeah. So it's it's just different cards. Like mm-hmm. uh, another way to think about it is, you know, those um those theme packs. Like like you, you yes. buy you buy a theme pack and it's all a bunch of white cards, right? Mm-hmm. They they when they started doing that, they started putting in cards that you can't find in any other booster pack except those theme packs and those cards aren't very good to begin with Mm -hmm. um so that that, so think of it like that they put those commander-esque cards in the set boosters that you can't find anywhere else hmm i wonder how good they're gonna be like have they said what like have they shown any examples of what one of those commander cards is yeah i put it in our discord uh earlier today it's that avison um artifact oh. that avison's memorial oh and, and oh. It, it's a it's a good card but it's not the greatest it's it's an eight cost uh legendary artifact that makes your other legendary permanents indestructible and these and this is a brand new card it's not a reprint yeah. no oh okay oh so they did show them efren i, I guess i haven't seen the others I've only seen the Avison one. Mm. I would. I don't know where to find them. And there's like twelve different articles. Or I would pull them up. <laughs> there's definitely a lot of articles. Yeah, I would pull them up, but I don't know where to find them. And they're not like in this set, so they're not on Scryfall. Yeah. Let's see if. Midnight Hunt Commander. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, if if you go to Scryfall and go to click on sets at the top yes. of the page, mm-hmm. um, it'll show like every single magic set in Midnight Hunt Commanders, like the fifth one down. 
Midnight Hunt Commander. Found it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, is it all these cards are in set boosters, or only certain ones are going to be in set boosters? I guess that's what I'm trying to understand. I, I thought, like, like, I thought Lenore and Wilhet were the face cards. They, the, yeah, these are definitely the commanders of the precons. Two okay. of them. Um, are so, the others yeah, all the? Are the all the others they've shown so far those potentially in set boosters? I guess. I have no idea. I no. can't keep up with it all. I don't I know. Don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I feel. Like so bad for card sphere when they have to like enter in oh my fifty different versions of one card. Oh yeah. So yeah. Speaking of that, I I just put in um, I I'm working on getting rid of or selling a bunch of cards, mm -hmm. and so many of them are that Strixhaven stuff. Oh. oh my god, there's so many different Strixhaven variations. I've got you know the the normal. Strixhaven, the showcase, the mm -hmm. mystical archive. Mm -hmm. I have Japanese mm -hmm. mystical archive. And it's then like, like the et etched foils and oh stuff like that. God. Sometimes you can't even tell if they're etched foils or not. You have to like look at it under a microscope. As much as I like, so me personally, I love all the different alternate arts they're doing. I do too. And I'll, but from a, but from a person like probably what Efren has to deal with with owning card sphere and having to update with every single set. Oh my god. And I feel bad. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a There's lot. There's so many. Yeah. Yes. It's a I, lot. But I'm with you though. Like I love all the different art versions oh, and yeah. stuff. I it, like it's, being the, able to um pick and choose, you know, for my decks, like what exactly which art set yeah. I want. And that's what I like about like the secret layers too. Really get to personalize your stuff. Yeah, like, it's something that Pokemon card game has been doing forever. Oh, like, really? Okay. Yeah, the, the Pokemon card game, it, it, it's great because some of the best cards in a set, you know, the, the alternate art can be really expensive, but the base version of the art can be super cheap. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're a competitive person, you know, you, you, you want to get the cheap one. You can play either one, sure. Yeah, and, and so, but they have a lot of alternate arts, and I'm glad that Magic is has finally started doing that the past couple years, just yeah. the alternate arts, because it, it's it's awesome. Like, like yeah. my favorite one so far has been Ikoria, the Ikoria alternate arts, because I love the comic book style. Yeah, those it's were really so good. good. Yeah, I, I like hearing that, uh, what you're saying about the Pokemon cards, where, like, you can get one card, and it can be on either spectrum of like the cost scale yeah so it's just makes every card more accessible to every person exactly yeah that's that's good i like that a lot that's cool um so what else do we want to look at with these uh ah. the only other thing i can think of to bring up with the midnight hunt is yes. the dual lands they showed have completed the fast land uh, cycle. The dual lands. Okay, so we're talking about um, the, like the, the deserted, deserted beach. beach shipwreck yeah. marsh. Let me pull them up here. The haunted ridge. Ooh, rock, yes. rockfall vale and overgrown farmland. I love the art of the overgrown farmland. Just the pumpkins. It's the and best all one. Even though I don't really play green white but yeah. yeah i do like that art the best it's got the it's got the real halloween autumn feel to it yeah so i'm glad to see the the fast lands are finally finished because they first yes. came out in um uh kaladesh but it was the other pairings of colors or whatever Oh, that was forever ago it doesn't feel like to me it still feels like last year but it, kaladesh, it was... that was before i started playing I know it, it like it doesn't even feel that long ago, but Kaladesh came out of what 2015 or something or hold on, hold on, I'm gonna look it up right Kaladesh now. Kaladesh came out. I don't. Kaladesh came out. Oh, in 2016. 20... Oh, okay, I was gonna say Jesus. 2017. So it's already five years ago. Holy shit. Yeah, it was forever oh, ago. Man. I can't believe y'all aren't drinking PSLs. Pumpkin spice lattes. Oh, oh, I was like, what the hell are PSLs? Maybe we are, and you just don't know, Efren. 
I'm not. I don't like pumpkin spice lattes. I don't like lattes, period. I'll drink a pumpkin spice latte. I love it. Though they can be real sweet. I just prefer pumpkin spice creamer in my coffee. Personally. I love pumpkin bread. Pumpkin I love great. pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread is great. Yes. I like pumpkin flavored things. I really do. Like I legitimately enjoy yeah. the flavor of pumpkin. Yeah, so do I. I'm just not into I'm just not into lattes. You don't do coffee it, though, right? Yeah, no. I, yeah. I can't. And I've tried every yeah. single version of coffee out there. Well, you know what? That's okay. It's not like it's good for you. You know, it's just caffeine. Yeah, well, you know, just so it's something. fine if you don't like it. Something we're all addicted to. Right? We're not going to talk about what we're addicted to, though. That's, this is not addiction for normies. <laughs> no, oh, it's man. Not. Yeah, um, but this could go really dark fast. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Definitely not going to do that. So, yeah. Um, I, just really, I just really quick want, like, please, let's look at the Arlen art, um, the one we didn't look at. Sure. Because this is my favorite art so far. Hold on, I have to find it. Arlen. Is it the showcase one? Yeah, it's the Equinox showcase. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Hold on, let me share my screen. Arlen, the Pax what? Hope. Okay, the Pax Hope. I what did you think it was going to say? I don't know what it said because I couldn't read it. Her head was in front of it. Okay, but, like, let's just look at this art, please. Uh, which one? Both of them? Yeah, both of them. It's... We're just admiring it. So is, like, her... Yeah, okay, so, like, part of her hand is starting to transform. Yeah, she's partially okay. transformed. And you flip it over, oh, like she's it. fully transformed. I love this the, art the so much. One? The, the backside of that? That looks pretty creepy. Yeah, it's so scary, right? That's that's like a creepy looking werewolf. I love Not it. Not gonna lie. Oh my god. I love this art so much. This is amazing. Uh, it's it, it's it is definitely better to me than the original. Like like even the original art or I don't know what you get the normal art yeah. is really good because I, I like the traditional wolf looking style there. Uh huh. But that that showcase, that's just like distorted and creepy looking. I and love it. I have to go follow this artist on Twitter. Emma Rios. I'm doing it right now. Does she have a Twitter? I'm gonna find out. I'm searching it. Sorry, I'm so, not. Do I'm not searching this on live stream. But. No, that's all right. Um, I I do have to say, the thing that I love about this set so far, it's not even the cards yet. I, I'm sure there, there's already cards that I really like. It's I love the mechanics. That yes. We, every single mechanic we've seen so far is yes. Just freaking awesome. I'm never usually one who is that into the mechanics, but mm -hmm. but it's just, oh, it's just so good. Yes. It's so good. Yes. Um, they're all so flavorful. I mean, yeah. Like, it's, if the it's werewolf so ones are if the werewolf ones are this good, how no. good are the vampire ones gonna be? I don't even know. Okay, so so you watched the um stream this morning where yes. um Jimmy and Joe were like walking around talking to folks. It was really funny, right? It was super cute. It because was, it Jimmy was, was like like a little bit nervous about Joe potentially turning into a werewolf I'll the see whole time, her bow. right? Yeah. I loved that so much. And then, and then at the end when we saw the save the date for the yes. wedding, I was like, <laughs> but I couldn't really scream because Ruby was sleeping on my desk and I didn't want to upset her. So I, I want to call Joe Manganiello out real quick. Yeah, do it. I'm and, sure and maybe, he's watching. Yeah, I, I know he's watching and listening because hey, we're Joe. just so fucking famous. We are so right? famous, yeah. Uh, we're, we're, we're up in the upper echelon of content creators. Um, Duh. It's... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, Joe, but, what's um, up? So so I, I've... I kind of like Joe Manganiello, all right? Like, I kind of like him a lot. Yeah. Um, 
But when he said at the beginning of the stream, like, I'm a huge Magic fan and I, you know, blah, 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 this and that. I'm like, I've seen so many of his fucking interviews, read so many of his shit. He's never once mentioned Magic ever. It's always been d and I've never seen him mention Magic outside of that. And I'm not saying maybe he is really into Magic, right? Uh-huh. And he's just never talked about it but i was kind of like taking out like you motherfucker you've never talked anything about magic until like the dnd set <laughs> well okay so maybe he has been into magic but he's yeah, more yeah. into dnd so that's kind of what everyone's always asked him about I don't yeah know. Maybe. he was on spell slingers with day nine years ago he was <gasps> you gotta look it up zuby i did not know that because I, now, now I'm the asshole, right? Yeah. I'm just the fucking huge asshole. Yeah. And day nine, l- let me let me talk about day nine here. I still find it fucking weird that he's into magic. Okay. Because he was like the StarCraft guy. I mean, and now I he does more than one thing. <gasps> it's still weird. Oh, it was two years ago that Joe Manchinello was on. Okay. Hey, Gary. Thank you for the resub. What's going on? Hey, Gary. Hey, Gary. Hi. Um. Okay, so it was two years ago. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. What's the big deal? I don't know. No, it was just, like I said, I've seen so much of his stuff that I've never heard him talk about magic before. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe like D&D, like everybody knew he was into D&D, so. Yeah. That's, maybe that's his bigger thing and so that's what everybody's always talked to him about i don't know oh that's fine and he was what he was just on um game nights too right but that was recently it's not like that was years ago i I, I didn't watch it though yeah i don't call him out zuba i I don't i don't watch content that isn't as popular as ours yeah Um, oh my gosh yeah we just don't have time um, for that sort of thing we just don't yeah yeah, that's right Little people. This is for this. This is magic for normies. That's uh, right. That's snobbish right. edition. Snobbish edition. <laughs> wow. Mm, yes. Yes, very much so. Um. So yeah, I mean, we have talked about we've talked about Midnight Hunt enough, I think, and I mean, we're have gonna we keep though? talking about it because yeah. it's still gonna be a while before it even comes out. Like I. I know I keep saying I can't wait to draft it, but I, I want I want us to do we need to do like a pre release stream where <gasps> we do the Ooh. the four of us yeah. and all that with the packs. We didn't do it for D and D, but no, we um, didn't. We didn't. No. There there had to have been a reason why. Was it had to have been something with my Oh, that's right, because I couldn't buy any fucking product. Because mm. I put myself off not buying any product because of my drain field. That's yeah, right. Yeah, the drain field. <laughs> okay. Well that's but I'll be able to buy some product now. this time. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Good, 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 good. Um, okay, so let's move on to our to our next really big, 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 big topic, which oh, God. is um the Magic Showcase 2021 stream that happened last week. And I didn't get to watch this one live, but I'm and I'm honestly I wish I'd been able to because there was a lot. Oh my god, there was. Holy crap. I, I, I didn't get to watch it. Yeah. I, I had to watch it muted because I couldn't. I was. I think I was in and out of meetings like uh, that whole day. Yeah, I wish I'd been able to watch it because holy crap. They talked about so much stuff. Like, I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start. I guess we'll just start at the top and go down okay so i've got i've got the article pulled up okay okay good um we're just gonna start at the top and go down okay the first thing i talked about was a secret layer out of time super drop and they've got and if you click on that link there it sends you to another page with all the the arts of the secret layers good times with secret layers out of time super drop yep Ooh, okay. And I don't even know if I've seen all of these because there was so much. I don't even. I there. I I could have easily. Missed I know something. I saw. Yeah, I know I saw some of them. I don't know if I saw all of them though. Okay, so this is a super drop. So the first one is um, Kamigawa Inc. 
These are beautiful. Ooh, that art is great. Yeah. Heartless. So, so these are all cards from uh, the original Kamigawa set. Okay. And it's like one legendary creature for each color, it looks like. Yeah, so we got Heartless Hidetsugu. I'm going to butcher these names. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, Kami the Crescent Moon, Michiko Kanda, Reki, Ariki, the History of Kamigawa, and mm -hmm. Toshiro Umazawa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That The art on all of these look real amazing. Yeah, I, I like their... I mean, I'm not crazy about the cards themselves, but mm -hmm. damn, the art is really good. Yes, I totally agree. I think the art does look amazing on that one. I'd, I'd almost want to get it just for the art, but like I said, I don't really care about the cards, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't recognize even any of these cards, and, you know, I didn't, I didn't play back when... I assume these cards came out. Yeah, I, I did. So I, just I don't I, even know any of them. Yeah, this is when this is one of the times I got back into Magic after not playing it for so long. Back when Kamigawa, then Re the first Ravnica set came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they look amazing though. We like them. Oh yeah, they're pretty. Um, it looks like you can get it in foil or non-foil, so that's great. Yeah, I'm loving the pricing for these. I feel like thirty dollars and forty dollars is perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the pricing for these yeah that's nice the next one is teferi's time trouble oh, love oh, it oh, oh, this, might, this might be the one i get this okay so these are all planeswalkers correct yes yes and all old border and they're, and they're... just this wall of text well see so this is so if planeswalkers were made back in the beginning of magic yes. this is how they would have looked like Yes. So, so this this is why they made them like that wall of text. I I get it. I get it. I just don't like it. Oh, it, it looks it looks god awful. But <laughs> I, I I love it. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's it's really neat. I mean, I I can see how um, I you know players who would are really long time players would like this style. Yeah, these this aren't, is the one. These aren't necessarily all old cards. Like which to no. this is this is this Teferi is not from that long ago. No, yeah, Karn the Great Creator. That that was um, wasn't that wasn't that Dominaria too, or was that War of the Spark? I can't remember. Um, and then Dak Faden was from Conspiracy. Mm. So yeah, they're not very old cards, but. Mm -hmm. And these are brand new arts, correct? Yes. I think yes. the arts look kind of cute. I like the arts. I want that Teferi card just for my Grand Arbiter deck. Oh, no. <laughs> don't delete. Don't delete. Yeah, those are neat. I mean, I personally don't want these, but I could definitely see why somebody would. And this is why I think Secret Layer is perfect. Just like we were talking about how you can like personalize your right. favorite cards and all this yes. stuff. For for someone like me who loves old bordered cards, th this is this yeah. is like speaking to me. Yes, yes, I can see that. Um, so these are so this one is available only in non foil, and oh, is okay. twenty nine ninety nine. So interesting. I wonder why they didn't do foil. They were like, we're not even gonna mess with foil for these. Yeah, we don't want to mm -hmm. hear about the Pringles. We're not doing it. So they didn't. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so the next one is an artist series, um, Johannes Voss. Some these, pretty good cards, these too. These are beautiful. Yeah, oh, they are. Them. Oh, it's like anime style. Oh! oh! Yeah, it is. If you like look closer at them, they all do look like anime. And Saint Umbrella is great. Carpet of Flowers is really fucking good. Mm-hmm. Um... Oh no no no! You're not allowed to play Carpet of Flowers when I play one of my island decks. Okay, Look what, what that does it card say? does. Enchantment at the beginning of your main, each of your main phases. If you haven't added mana with this ability this turn, you may add X mana of any one color. Where X is the number of islands target opponent controls. Oh my gosh! I don't like that card. No, nope, you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to play that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I love it. Yeah, these arts look really good. And then Sphere of Safety. I really like that Sphere of Safety art and the, the Karmic Guide art. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. That's really good. 
yes. They're Damn. They're beautiful. Very beautiful. I like those a lot. Um, and these these come in foil or non-foil. So there you go. You got options. Nice. And there's another artist series right after that. Artist series Thomas Ooh. Baxa. Okay, these these are dark. We're changing. We're changing. Oh, we went from lighthearted to <laughs> very dark. And dark. Evil. Yeah, okay, we have Obnuxilus Reignited, Sliver Hive Lord, Sire Sliver of Insanity, and S- Spellskite. Yes, yeah, Spellskite. Okay. Wow. Ooh, th- that Sliver Hive Lord. Ooh, I mean, I, it's I, so I, creepy. I, I, it is. I love slivers. Like, I have every single sliver printed. I, I, shit. That's Wait, the only card I care about here. Did they already do a Sliver's Secret Lair, though? Did, so did they, they do a five color? Yeah, it was a Sliver Overlord oh, with the, okay. with the Ur Dragon. Yes, and, yes, yes, yes. And another one I can't remember. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, so this Sliver Hive Lord uh, came out of M15. Okay. Um, Sliver Overlord was from, what was it, Scourge, I think? Hmm. Now, this art style looks kind of old school, right? In a sense, yeah. Yeah. I, I like it, but... God, I don't, do I want to spend $30 just for a Sliver Hive Lord? I mean, yeah, I probably will. <laughs> what about that Sire of Insanity? I've never seen that card, but, like, read it's what a good it card. does. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. And it's nasty. The Sire of Insanity in D&D, it's got a monster stat block from when the Ravnica book came out. Even the Sire of Insanity in D&D is insanely good. Ooh. It can make you attack your uh, pl- your party members. <gasps> oh no. It's great. Nice. And this I enjoy is, it. Um, this one comes in foil or non-foil as well. Um, awesome. And next we have Mathis for Blockers. I love the name of that. That's yeah, great. It's good. These look cool. Um... So all of these, what do all of these, why is it called Mathis for Blockers? Because it's about creatures blocking? Yeah, I don't know. Brazen Borrower can can only block creatures with flying. Is it because they all have different power and toughness? Uh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no. I mean... Oran Frostfang, attacking creatures you control have death touch, so okay. Yeah, I don't get why. I don't why know. is this called Mathis for Blockers? It is someone out there know, and we're just too normy to the power understand and toughness? it. Read all the power and toughness. 314159-2653. And what about Oh, it? it's Pi. It's Pi. Is it? I think so. I'm sorry if you can hear Ruby. She's sitting outside the door here meowing loudly at me. Oh, the power and toughness is pie. Okay. Yeah, yes. It's like, what is oh, pie? Okay. Like 3.1. Yeah, 3.1. Hold I just pulled up a, I just Googled, you know, what is pie? 3.314159. That's it. That's two, it. Six, okay. five, three. Oh shit! Okay, okay, okay I got we it. We get it. We getting there. We get there. I, I got it. I'm a nerd. We get there. Right. We don't do math, so no. Yeah, that's neat though. That's pretty cool. I, I, I that that's very tricky, wizards. Right? All right. We're not smart enough for that, wizards. Don't no, that I would again. not have gotten that Please at all. Please don't do that again. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh. Uh-uh. So if chat had not told us, we would I be would like, never... "Why is this?" Mathis to a blank game. Yeah. Like, I just thought, oh, because it has different power and toughness? Yeah. Some of them talk about blocking, so... Yeah, some don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're so uh, dumb. Okay. Um, this one comes in foil or non-foil. Oh, oh, God. This is, hey, this is called Magic for Normies, so... Yeah. What do you expect? <laughs> what do you expect, folks? Come wow, on. I come on now. I I feel dumb. We're dumb, but yeah. Hey, it, um, it yeah. Okay, and so that's all of them, and so it's a super drop, so you can get them all in a bundle. 
You can get all the foil ones if you want. You can get all the foil and the non-foils, the bundliest bundle. Yeah. But do you see any that you might want to pick up? I probably won't get any of these um, personally. I, I like them. I think they're cool. I like a lot of the yeah. art on some of them. But no, I it, not, none of them are really, really screaming out to me. So I probably yeah. personally won't get any of these this time. Totally understand. I'm probably going to get the uh, the Planeswalker one. Yeah. The old border than, one. Yeah. Other than that, I don't. There's nothing else I'd really even want out of it. Yeah. Are these available right now? Um, good question. Okay, yes. They are available August 24th through September 14th. Oh, shit. So I better. If you want order them, you now. gotta get them now. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know they were available now. Yes. I guess I, as we're talking, I'm gonna enter a sale right now. <laughs> Go get them now. I'll, I'll but... do it after the stream, but I had no idea they're even available now. Yeah, they are. Thank you, chat. Again, you you save our butts. Yes, yay. Um. Okay. So, what else happened? What else are we talking about? From okay, we're going back to the um <laughs> magic sh magic showcase 2021. That was only the first item from the showcase oh, stream. And that was it. The secret layer out of time super drop. Okay, moving on to our next item of business. Innistrad Midnight Hunt and Innistrad Crimson Vow. We already know about those. We already talked about Midnight Hunt. Oh, and they, they did announce uh, Innistrad Double Feature. Um, which is... It, it's going to be a special draft set that combines both uh, Crimson Vow and Midnight Hunt in a draft format. Ooh, I and I think they may have that. like some special art with <gasps> that set. Oh my god, more special art! I love it. So for yeah. people who are super into draft and limited, that's going to be your freaking set to get. Nice, and it'll be both of these Innistrad sets. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be like they're going to be separate packs, or or the packs are going to combine both sets. You know what hmm. I mean? Hmm. I don't know yet. Okay, okay, gotcha. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so Innistrad Crimson Vow, that's the one we're super excited about. Yeah, we like Midnight Hunt, but we're super excited yes. about Crimson Vow. Oh, I know you're like probably, oh my god, can't wait. I know, it's true. I mean, I'm definitely excited about Midnight Hunt, and I like everything I'm seeing too, though. Oh yeah, like a after seeing all the stuff today, it's yes. definitely made my hype meter go up. Yes. Oh, I see this right here. We announced Innistrad Double Feature today, a special release combining both Innistrad Midnight Hunt and Innistrad Crimson Vow into a unique draft experience. Okay, so maybe they will be combining the sets in a pack. Hmm. Neat. Okay. That'll be cool. Yeah. Innistrad Vow of the Hunt, yes. Hmm. That's both of them. That's what it's going to be called for sure. Okay, um, our, our next item in the showcase, Magic in Store and Beyond in 2021. Okay. Ooh, so they announced that in December they're going to have store championships for the first time in... Ages. Pre-pandemic, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Um. And th these are going to be the special promos you can get. So nice. everyone is going to get an Arbor Elf promo if you participate. Ooh. And collected Company is a top eight if you make top eight. <gasps> Ooh. And, and, and this art of Collected Company is only available in Magic Arena right now. It is not available on paper. Oh, neat. And Worm Coil Engine is to the winner. Oh, oh cool. even. So even cooler, the winner and top eight promos awarded at WPM Premium Stores will have the store name printed on them. <gasps> oh. oh! Okay, so the Worm Coil Engine will is to the winner of the uh -huh. store championship. Okay, okay. Yeah. Neat. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. N normally, they've only ever done uh, two promos. One, uh, a promo where, you know, everyone gets one and then a one for the top eight. Mm-hmm. So this is pretty cool. Yeah. So a little bit more incentive to try to win it all. Yeah. You can, That's yeah, cool. even just top eighting, you, you're still going to get something. 
Yeah. Pretty cool. This is the future of Wizards OP focus on the local level. And you know what? That's okay. Yeah. I, I, I feel like that's okay because if, if someone wants to take it national or international, a third party company can take it over. Yeah. That you would know? be fine. But that, that's a whole other episode. Okay. Sure, 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 <laughs> sure, sure. We've still got a lot to get through here. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. So this was the in store stuff. Okay. And yep. they say they've talked about some commander party in store thing. Yeah, they haven't released any other details about okay. it yet, I think. Okay, just just sort of giving a teaser about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next we have the Innistrad Double Feature Pioneer Challenger Decks 2021 and Commander Collection Black. So I just got to okay. say, so, so we've seen the Challenger Decks in the past, like for standard decks. Yes. This is the, I'm surprised they're even doing Pioneer decks to be all to be honest because does anybody it, play pioneer like paper people were before the pandemic and before historic really became a thing in arena hmm. and, and when the pandemic hit and when historic became more popular people were saying pioneer was dying off i mean not only in store because duh pandemic but yeah also on magic online people were saying no one's playing pioneer on magic online at all so on Ooh. one hand, I'm glad to see Wizards try to make Pioneer still a thing. Mm -hmm. And without knowing anything about the meta of Pioneer or anything, maybe these are a good step into getting into Pioneer. Yeah, I mean, in the past, the Challenger decks have been fine. Eh-ish? Yeah, I mean... For, for, from what I remember seeing them when I used to play Standard, they were really good entry-level FNM decks, mm -hmm. Friday Night Magic decks, where it, you could just make like maybe $10, $20 worth of changes, and they could be decent enough to be able to win a few games. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of like a Commander Precon. Like, they're fine. Yeah. They're not yeah. complete trash. I mean, you probably want to make a few upgrades. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's... To me, at least in the past with Challenger decks, they've always been a good starting base or starting level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Because so, like the old intro decks they used to make mm -hmm. that, that were standard intro decks, they were garbage oh. back in the day. Like absolute trash. Ooh. So yeah. hopefully these will be better. Yeah. So that's interesting. I mean, I probably won't be getting any of these. I have zero nah, interest in playing yeah. Pioneer ever. Same. But if but somebody for, likes them, sure. Yeah, for people who do, that's yeah great. Yeah, I, I'm just happy to see them like actually acknowledge that Pioneer is not all but dead. <laughs> They're trying to bring it back, baby. Hey, you know, good, Go good for, for good, good for wizards. Yeah. Um, and then there is the Commander Collection Black, and this is my favorite color to play. So I don't really understand what this is, but I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to. It, so it, uh, there's a link um, where you can see all the cards that are in the Commander Collection Black. <gasps> Let's do it. And they've got some pretty decent black cards. Okay, is this and like here. the set symbol? Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, the, the, that is so cute. Okay. So are you showing it on the? Yep, yep. We're okay. looking at the black cards. Maybe. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because the stream wasn't. It's, I forget. We're like yeah. couple. It's like slightly behind the stream. delayed. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that ghoul collar Gisa art is awesome. Yeah, these it's, look cool. I mean. Okay, so I recognize Phyrexian Arena yep. and Reanimate. I, I mean, I play both of those cards. And Toxic Deluge. I don't play Toxic Deluge. What does it do? As an additional it, it, cost to cast a spell, pay X life. All creatures get minus X minus X until end of turn. Ooh, I love that. That is really good. And that's been needing a reprint because that's been getting expensive as heck. Yeah, like I would totally pay life to, to do that. Like easy. Oh yeah, I have that in Ayara and it's so good. Yo, look at this reanimate art though. That is so freaking cool. I just oh, love And it's it. by your one of your favorite artists too. Oh, 
course it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, it's Nils Hom. So wow, I'm just looking at it and I'm like, these are like skulls, like around the moon, and this person is, I don't know, floating in their bats. Yeah. That's really freaking cool. Okay, so get- cool collar Gisa. That's I don't. I've never played this, but this is a good zombies. She's thing. she's a really good zombie commander. Yeah. Okay, and what about the um, Ophiomancer? So the thing with Ophiomancer that's really cool this time. So she was originally printed in Commander 2013, mm-hmm. and. She's a little bit of an expensive card, but if you look at what she does, she creates a 1-1 Black Snake creature token. They never made a token card for this. So this will be the first time they actually make a 1-1 Snake Death Touch token. Ooh. And it's coming in the Commander collection. You can see the art near the bottom. <gasps> cool. So people have been asking for this token forever. That like token since since just that card didn't came exist, out. Even when yeah. they made the original version of this card? Yep. That's so weird. Yeah, it, it's a weird oversight. Yeah. Oh, look at this soul ring. I know it looks awesome. Oh my god, look at this command tower. It looks so evil. Oh, look at this Liliana heretical healer. Yep, this is from the Magic Origins. Um Oh, Liliana. oh my gosh. I love this art on her Planeswalker side. Oh, I know, right? Ooh, that's so good. Okay, so this is why everybody was loving the Snake Death Touch 1-1. Yeah. I get it now. Mm-hmm. Because before I didn't. I was just like, yeah, I'm just a cute snake, but I, like, what's the big deal, though? Yeah, well, now it's it's official. They finally have a 1-1 snake token nice. for a Fiamancer. Okay, so I love to play black cards. I will probably just try and get this for sure. Yeah, um did they say when it's coming out? Um No. No, they didn't. It just says it will be available in English exclusively at your local store soon. Uh, but what if your local store is crap? Yeah, what if your local store is trash and they don't sell you things or save you boxes when a new set comes out? No, okay. That's yeah, I don't know. That's my local store. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's great. So I don't go there anymore. Oh, good. Yeah. I don't know. I don't I'll go have to, to my look local into store that. Either. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to find that out because well, I would like to get this. You can probably get them on like TCG Play. Because I, cause I saw the, the Commander Collection green on there. Gotcha. Have they done this Commander Collection thing for... So they've done it for green. Have they done it for the other colors yet? Is this relatively so, new? So what they did before this was they had a thing called Planeswalker Spellbook. Okay. And like Gideon. They, they, yeah, they had Gideon, Jace, and Chandra. Yes, okay. And, and they're, they're, they were pretty much the same thing as the green and black commander collections, mm-hmm. but just labeled Planeswalker. Um, so in it, so as the commander collection goes, they've only done two colors, but this is kind of the last color if you if you kind of count the Planeswalker spell books. Oh, so you don't think they're going to do any more of these commander collection ones? I'm, because... I, I'm, I'm sure they will, because, mm, okay. you know, money... Yeah. But. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Money. Um, yeah, I really like these. All of these cards. And so. they're pretty good cards. Yes, yeah. Yes. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so going back to Showcase 2021, what else we got? <laughs> and, uh, um, we got all four new standard sets coming out next year. Oh, this is the Innistrad double feature. Oh, yeah. Do- yeah, okay. that's, that's that draft experience. Combines select cards from two separate sets into one unique draft experience, featuring special art treatment on every card. Oh, shit. Every card. Arriving oh. exclusively to local game stores in early 2022, Innistrad Double Feature lets you celebrate this fan favorite setting with its own limited environment in theatrical style. Oh, shit. I didn't know it was going to be every single card gets a 
special art treatment. That's cool. Ooh. Yeah. That's awesome. That's very cool. Is it going to be all like black and white like that, I guess? I'm assuming, yeah. I don't know. And it looks like it may be like, like you know, 50s, 60s, scary movie yes. type stuff too. Exactly. That's neat. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so now we can move on to the um, magic sets for 2022. Um, oh my gosh, what are these sets? What are these? What is this? What is all of this? So one of the sets is a brand new plane, but the first one we're g getting in quarter one of... 2022 is mm -hmm. we're returning to Kamigawa, but this is oh. Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Okay. This looks very cyberpunk. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, so Magic players love this plane, right? And they have been asking yeah. to go back. And, and Wizards have been hesitant about coming back to this plane because as much as players loved Kamigawa, it did not sell well at all. Like when it first came out, like it was one of the worst selling sets in a while. And it's all about the money. Yep. <laughs> so this is, I think this will be the first time magic takes place in a plane where it's futuristic and high tech, I think. I mean, yeah. It, so I guess. Because like. Yeah, because like Kaladesh was, I was more gonna steampunk. I was going to say Kaladesh is the only other one you could sort of maybe say. But yeah, yeah that, it was the, steampunk. Yeah, that was more steampunk. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, this, it, it, at least judging from the art we've seen so far in Comic it looks more like futuristic. Yeah. And um, I'm interested to see what they come up with. It, you know, I, I'm excited. Sure. Yeah, it's um, I, I'm I'm a like I love Kamigawa, right? And mm -hmm. I'm excited to go back to it, but I'm still a little, I don't want to say put off, but more like, sort of like, what, what, why are we in the future here? But I mean, I'm sure there'll be awesome cards, awesome mechanics, yeah, and all that stuff. It's know. just, it's different, mm -hmm. you know, because different is scary. It can be, yeah, yeah because. For for the longest time, magic has always been, you know, very fantastical. Right. Always very, I, I don't want to say medieval, but, you know, in the realm of medieval fantasy, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. So. So th this, yeah. So this looks like it'll be a bit different, but we'll see. I mean, maybe, maybe they've only shown you, like, the most forward-looking card art, you know? I mean, there is a robotic I, like raccoon on this person's shoulder, right? Yeah. yeah. So there's that, but that's like going to be the new arena. Said, pet. Oh my gosh! Totally <laughs> calling it, calling it right now. Like we just said, though, like um, Kaladesh like had creatures kind of like that. Yeah, it, it was more. I mean, shit. Kaladesh had trains and had like tanks and shit. You know, so yeah. So we'll have to see. I don't so, know. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll just be glad to see ninjas and samurais again. Yeah, for sure. So after that, what have we got? And quarter two. I have no idea how to pronounce this name. Streets of New Capena. Capena. Yeah. Ka Ka Capena. Ka Capena. I don't know. Capena. I have I don't no know. idea. I haven't heard anybody say it, so I don't know either. Um, yeah, so what's up with this? This is a totally new plane? Brailing after art. Yeah, the totally new plane. Uh, never heard of it before. Mm -hmm. um, trailing after our trip to Kamigawa like a detective with gumption, the following standard release takes us to the streets of New Capenna, mm -hmm. a city with special significance to Elspeth. Ooh! Ooh! I love Elspeth. She's... She's one of my favorite planeswalkers. Okay. Built by angels, now run by three color demon crime families. Ooh, so we got oh, a mafia ho, flavor. Ho, 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 ho. So, do we know where Elspeth is from? She's from Theros. So, why would this city have a special significance to her? I don't know. 
Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll is it, find isn't out. Isn't she from Theros or is she from somewhere else? Listen, I don't know. I don't, I don't listen. I don't. I'm not into magic lore. I don't Sorry. Know. I, I don't. I'm. To, or is she from Lorwyn? I don't fucking know. Whatever. Mob theme. Um, it's like Bioshock Mafia. So this is the one that I feel like. How is this gonna fit in? Yeah, this one feels a little bit weirder. Like. Don't get me wrong. I love my mafia mob movies. You know, know Goodfellas, you Godfather, mm-hmm. and Sopranos, and all that stuff. But, yeah. but magic mafia. Yeah, this feels kind of weird. Yeah, this one's out there. This one, I, I, I mean, I'm not like upset about it. I like that yeah. they're. I mean, how much fantasy can you do? You know, like. Yeah. Th- this is a different type of fantasy, and I like mm-hmm. it. So I I hope it works really well. And, you know, we're just not seeing very much of it. So it's really hard to know what what yeah. to expect right now. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm 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 looking forward to it. But this is the one that I'm just kind of like, how are they going to make this work? Yeah, okay. it, it, it's you know, it just reminded me of. Like how we shat on Strixhaven. Oh my god, I know, right? <laughs> and then we ended up absolutely loving, loving it. Loving it, loving it. We're like, this is <laughs> our favorite set ever. <laughs> it, what if this is similar? Like we start like this looks dumb, and then it's like, oh my god, I can't. This looks well, so cool. I certainly don't hate it. Yeah. I just, yeah. I just feel like, how is, how is, how are these sets going to be in the same standard? How is this going to really make sense? Yeah, yeah, like, like, thematically. Yes, yes. From the like, Neon like, Dynasty to, like, these mobsters. Like, what? Yeah, like, because you can make an argument for futuristic ninjas and samurais, right? Yeah, sure. But th- then you get to, like, and maybe it's because when we think about mafia and crime families, we think more about present day, right? Be- we think of the 50s and 60s, which for us is in the past, but it's still pretty modern day That's when, true. when you look at the aesthetics. In the grand of it. scheme of yeah. time of the world. It, hey, it's, Neon it's... City PD, thank you for the raid. What's oh, up? thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Hey, welcome, welcome. We are just talking about um, the Magic Showcase 2021 and all of the new things that are coming next year. And right now we are talking about mobsters in the streets of yes. New Ke- Kepena. Kepena. What did we say? Kepena. Kepena or Kepina? Somebody tell us how to spell this. Not spell it, but how to pronounce how it. How to pronounce this. We know how to spell <laughs> it. We see that. We see that. Hey, thank you so much for the gifted oh, subs. Oh, dang. Gary, Gary and Nature. Thank you. Holy crap. subs. Thank you so much, Gary. Damn, What's Gary, you're on? killing it. Gary's killing it right now. This, so, um, my subscribe thing is gonna is gonna like be popping off for the next five minutes. Uh, but thank you so much, Gary. Gary, you're awesome. Holy crap. Gary. Um. Yeah. So the mobsters. We're talking about the mobsters. This is. <laughs> this is gonna be. Um, <laughs> it's no, all right, Gary. You're you good. Not, You're good. You are not interrupting, Gary. This is great. It's all good. We appreciate you. Hey, Pat Crack Beaver! Thank you for the bit. Thank you for the cheer. Okay, we're just get we're just getting more notifications. We're just gonna wait around for all the notifications to come through. Gotta get them donations. Gotta get them bitty bits. Yeah. Gotta let that music play. Yeah. We can play. You know what? We can play our Magic for Normies theme song too. Hell yeah! How do about it. this? Okay, this this is sick. Y'all gonna love We're this. A remix. Let's go! Oh oh oh! Do 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 do. Magic for Normies. Yes. That's oh. right. Magic for Normies theme song. Magic for Normies theme song. Yo. Wow. R- 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 remix. Um. Oh my God. Is there a way like that we could remix the Magic for Normies theme song? 
I'm sure, like, if we were good at remixing stuff. Yeah, how do you even do that? Magic. Okay, maybe the I can, gathering. like, Google... Magic Gathering. Maybe I can, like, Google search it and, and like, oh auto-tune it or something. Yeah, I was just about <laughs> to like, auto-tuning it. Yes! <laughs> And then, and then I need to get you to like make these like scratches and stuff, like J Rock, every, 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 every. <laughs> Magic for Normies. Somehow, we gotta no, work saying. on this. No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. Yeah, we gotta work on this. Okay, we're gonna write. I'm gonna write this down so I remember. Magic well, I, I, for Normies. I still want to do that other idea. For I, I, I don't want to say it on air, but there's that other idea. The it's a secret surprise. That I gotta make a phone number, though. I don't remember what you're talking about, but... I'll, I'll tell you after the show. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I, we, we don't need people stealing our ideas. No! You know, we're just so... We're so popular, right? and people just take our ideas. Right? Magic for Normies and Post Malone. Yo! Magic for Normies Remix featuring 21 yep, so Savage. I, I, I gotta get, um... I gotta get Post Malone to come on Magic with Zuby, and um, yes, and then I'll tell him I don't listen to his music at all. Oh, stop, Magic with Zuby! <laughs> yeah. Don't you I make would... Post Malone feel bad? Don't you do? I wouldn't make him Posty. feel bad, but I would just be like, "Yo, Posty, I don't listen to your music. I'm sorry." He's gonna be like, "What the hell, dude? Why am I here?" What the hell? <laughs> then fuck off. Like we're here to talk magic, all right, nerd? All right. Yeah, Get that's wrecked. right. That's right, nerd. We're here to talk wrecked, about no. some mobsters on the streets of New Cabana. Mm. There right. just wasn't there wasn't enough time, Obnixilis. Wasn't enough time. Oh shoot, I zoomed in too far. Is this Obnixilis? Wait. Yeah, it is. Wait a second. It's Obnixilis. He's he's what a godfather now. What is he now. doing? Why is he dressed like that? Because he's a mobster. He's he's a godfather. I'm not Obnixilis. What are you doing in the streets of New Capenna? Who does he have by the collar? Who is that? It's it's some degenerate. <laughs> he couldn't pay his debts. This is and what so will happen to you if you don't pay up Nixilis. You're gonna sleep with the fishes. <laughs> Shit. I oh did my not God. So, realize that was up Nixilis. So when we do our streets in New Capenna, I, yeah. I gotta like put on a suit. <gasps> Let's and, do um, it. Like, like a yes. pinstripe suit. And like maybe oh my a hat. God, yes. Like a yeah. monster hat. Yeah, and um, oh god, and and we need to have like the Godfather theme playing in oh the background god. the entire time. Oh my god, look at what Efren said. When they killed your commander, look how they massacred my boy. <laughs> oh my god, is that what he's doing here? Is that, what yes. the, is that what he's doing right here? Look how they massacred my boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what it looks like. Oh shit. Who gives to be Scarface? Okay, this is good. You know what? I I've totally changed my mind. I'm really excited for this set. I'm looking yeah, forward to it now. It's gonna be so fun. I get to cosplay Michael Corleone. <gasps> oh yes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay. So okay, so let's move on from this. We've been talking about it for like 20 minutes. Yes. The next set. Yes. I am super excited about this set. All right. Like this is probably the set I'm excited about the most. Because this is Dominaria United. We are going back to Domin fucking area. Okay. All right? Okay. Not only is it the original magic plane from the beginning of the world of magic. Is it? This, I didn't know that. Yes, it was the original. It was the very first magic plane ever created. And when we went back to Dominaria back in 2017, 2018, it was like going home again and that would that had been one of my favorite sets in like a long time um that and, was not all that long ago though i know and, and i feel like again and the game should just remain in dominaria no. forever and ever no. yes yes no no <laughs> we want to go to other planes not just dominaria right. we'll, we'll sometimes visit innistrad all right okay thank you i'm just glad we're not Innistrad's going back not to bad. ravnica yeah, just fuck. I'm. We're I done. know we're gonna go back to Ravnica eventually, Ravnica. but it's like, ugh. What more can you do with Ravnica, honestly? We don't need to go back. So Dominaria United. Dominaria holds a special place. Oh, I don't. I'm not even sharing my screen. Dominaria holds a special place in magic across the lore of games and in the hearts of fans around the world. 
With so much story and decades of magic history packed into one plane, our next visit with Dominary United is the perfect place to kick off our 30th anniversary celebration! Holy crap, 30 years already? Wow, you'll be able to enjoy uh, the original high fantasy magic setting again in the third quarter of 2022. Fuck, I feel old. Don't feel old. Yeah. You should feel wise then. Wise? Yeah, because you're old, so you're wise. Oh, thanks. That's how I feel. I'm just a lot smarter than I was before. I don't... I. There are days I just feel dumber. Well, sometimes. But you're smarter for knowing that you're dumber. <laughs> right? Because oh, when you were great. young, you were like, I'm not dumb, I'm great. Now it's like, I know I'm dumb. I'm yeah. smart enough to know how much I don't know. Right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> You got it. You got oh, it. Oh, man. I like, so I'm okay, sure everybody's it. excited about Dominaria United. Oh, that'll my be, gosh. Yes. That'll be a it, it, it was one of the best draft environments in a long time, in, in my opinion, that, that is. Um, and so I'm excited to see what Dominaria United holds. I'm sure it'll be cool. This picture isn't really showing us anything. Yeah. So I just don't really even know what to expect, but... Um, yeah, I think this is definitely going to go back to, like, your original fantasy style yeah. rather than the two previous de sets, which will be kind of new age. True, true. Yeah. So that'll be exciting. And then the last one in the fourth quarter of 2022 is The Brothers War. Now, I like, what is that about? So this will be interesting. So this is the whole... So I'm I'm not big into magic lore, right? Mm -hmm. But but this is like one of the biggest events that happened in the lore of magic at the very beginning, right? The brothers' lore or the brothers' war okay. between Urza and Mishra. Okay. Um, and this and I think this is what caused the the mending or something because because I, I think back when like the story was first going on they made planeswalkers like uber powerful like basically gods mm -hmm. and all that mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like urza and mishra were some of the first planeswalkers and mm -hmm. it's it's this whole story of them fighting and i i, I don't know the whole i don't know but, okay but so, so this will be the first time we get to see some of uh, the set action, about a that. whole set based on it because i think the brothers war only really happened in the books and the cards that were out during the time only really sort of briefly mentioned events mm -hmm. of it. So mm -hmm. interesting. So it seems like that, you know, the first half of the year is going to be like this sort of new age style yeah. stuff. And then the second half is going to be all this like really OG stuff. That, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, the first two sets are them really testing the waters of some new shit, right? Mm -hmm. And then the second half will be, eh, yeah, if you're not into the new stuff, you're going to love the OG stuff. Then. Something for everybody. Yeah, that, that's a good way to put it. I didn't think of it like that. <gasps> I'm so smart. This is magic for smarty normies. It sure is. Um, so yeah, so which set are you, like, would you say that you're looking forward to the most? Oh, Dominaria United, Dominary easily. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just, like, none of these are, like, screaming out to me, so I just, I can't even pick. I mean, if I'm sure they'll all one, be though. good. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I like I, I literally can't pick one because I don't know anything about them. I don't know about any of the lore. I don't know about Dominaria. Yeah, and, and with the streets of New Capenna, that's brand new. So I have no who idea. The heck knows? Right? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, so we'll just have to wait and see. I'm. I'll be interested to see a lot of your or hear a lot about your opinions as the sets start coming out, because as someone who's been with the game a long time you know at least three out of the four sets you know i i'm looking forward to because of just 
you know, I've, I've got the attachment history. to them. Yeah, right. the history of them. Yeah. But you, you have, like, no attachment None. to any of them, so yeah. I'll be interested to hear, like, your perspective from it, you know? Yeah, for sure. And, you know, a year from now, I'm sure we'll be just normieing it up. And we might, it Hell might yeah. be magic, it, we might be rebranded to Magic for Pros by then. Oh, for sure. We're going to be so... the premier spot for for pro Magic players. Yeah. So we'll just have to see, you know? Yeah, we're we're just that amazing. Yeah. Well, we're not yet, but by <sighs> next year we will be, though, for sure. Um, so, okay, so still moving on for the Magic Showcase. There's still so much shit. I know. Oh, okay. my God. We are still moving on. <sighs> Magic Showcase 2021. Here we go. Um, the next thing we're talking about is a new unset. Unfinity. Unfinity. Okay. So for people who are super into unsets, now the the downside with unsets is you know they're not playable outside of the unset itself. Any, anything, right. right? Yeah, but they are super fun draft environments. Like if you if you're able to get a box and play with you and your friends, yes, they are extremely fun. But if you can't really do that, and these sets are more usually more for in-person play and they're kind of mm -hmm. harder to do um because they're silly like, they have like yeah. weird mechanics and stuff yeah yeah so it, it i would definitely recommend any kind of unset in person because they are so much fun yeah but other than that i mean i'm not really into unsets outside of that i've never played an unset um, I've never, I was not playing Magic when any have come out before, so this one will mm -hmm. be a first for me. So, I don't know, we'll just have to see. I mean, this one looks silly, this art is really cute. It's yeah. magic, it's in space, it's retro-futuristic fun meets a space carnival you must see to believe. I mean, that sounds fun, so and I'm definitely the, the, open to it. The, the thing that they're doing different with this set, so so normally all unsets have some full art basic lands to right. try people to get love them. and pe try to get people to buy the set. Right, yes. this time they're also doing full art shock lands now, which I oh. think is really smart of Wizards yes. to get more people to want to buy it. It's because very tricky. It's it's it, very tricky. They're like, we want people to buy this, so let's put these really awesome lands in them. Yeah, because out yeah. like I said, outside of actually drafting this stuff, they're they're useless cards. Yeah, like like I don't even think these these aren't even commander legal, right? Mm -mm. Like nothing. No, no I mean yeah. I mean you could rule zero the cards in right, to commander. Right, right. Sure. But I mean it, it's it's gonna be hard pressed to allow pe to have yourself be allowed to play uncards with random people. You yes. Know? Yeah, exactly. Well, um, yeah, I mean, that'll be interesting. I'll be interested to see what yeah. it's what it's like. For yeah, sure. I can't wait to see the um, the basic lands and the shock lands because they said they're going to be like space themed. Yeah, those will probably have some really cool art for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so next we have Dungeons and Dragons Battle for Baldur's Gate Commander Legends. Yes, another Commander Legends set. That's but this time... That's it's all Baldur's D and D. Oh, yeah, but Baldur's wow. Gate is all it is a huge city in D and D. It's like yes. it's like one of the most popular cities in the Forgotten Realms lore. Gotcha. And and um, as much as I fucking loved Adventures in Forgotten Realms mm -hmm. this year, and it's been the best Magic set of this year. Sorry, Pixie. Um, it's okay. You can have your <laughs> opinions, even if they're wrong. <laughs> um, but. This, I'm super excited about this because because we played Commander Legends. We did a few drafts of it, and yeah. that was fun as it hell. It was really fun. Yep. And I, I'm i I'm all for another Commander Legends set and a D&D yeah. &D Commander Legends set. Fuck yeah. yeah. And I mean, like, not only was drafting it really fun, like, there were, there's just so many good cards in Commander Legends. Like, Oh, yeah. Like, it, just the number of legendary creatures alone. Yeah, Amazing. I got my I got my little uh Kobold Rogak and uh Falthus, my little kitty. Yeah, I have two I have I have two commander decks with commanders from Commander Legends. With jury and I have Jury and then I have the Elf Ball. Kolfenor. Oh, and Kolfenor. 
Oh, the elf ball too. I forgot about. Yeah, I have so three. you have three. I have three. Yeah. Um, so the, this comes out in the second quarter of 2022. Ooh, that'll be awesome. Yeah, so that'll be fun. So the downside to that, though, is yes. if Streets of New Capenna is really good, yeah. too, like, fuck, what do I spend my money on? Well, <laughs> Streets of New Capenna is quarter two. Oh, that's the second quarter as yeah. well. Sorry. I, yeah. I was thinking second half of the year. No, no, hmm. no. But so... Hmm. That, that's one thing I don't like. Hmm. But, but, but I mean, you know, first world problems. Yeah, exactly. Just have to figure it out. Yeah, no, that's mm. exciting. I can't believe they're doing another Commander Legends so soon, I guess, but... Well, it, it would be... Well, Commander Legends 2019, so it's going to actually be two years. Wait, well, almost Commander two year- Legends was 2019 was, or 2020? Yeah. I thought it was 2019, wasn't it? Did it come Hold out on. last year during during COVID, or did it come or out did it? before COVID? Shit, I can't remember now. I think it came out last year during COVID. It it did, yeah. Okay, so it was last year. Yeah. My bad. My bad. So I guess I guess by the time this comes out, it'll have been two years. Yeah, yeah, like a year and a half, I think, something <laughs> like that. 2020, but we don't talk about 2020. Yes, I know. Sorry. Scratch Holy that crap. from the record. What came out in 2019? Was it Ultimate Masters or? I don't know. I can't keep up with I it. I don't know. Years. I can't keep up either. Oh my uh, gosh. Yeah, I know. Okay, so that that'll be really cool. Baldur's Gate. Okay, then next we we're we can we are continuing to move forward here. We've got to make oh it through gosh. this. Yeah. Okay, Double Masters 2022. Oh, God, I feel like, didn't we just get Double Masters? I don't know. Double Masters, I mean, the first Double Masters was cool. I don't think I bought any Double Masters product, but... No, I didn't buy any Double Masters either. This set, it, okay, so Double Masters, two foil cards and two rare or mythic cards in each draft booster. Is that how it was before? Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, With I more don't... powerful reprints and a multicolor draft focus. All this and more. Okay, so... Whew. Okay. We're getting another one. Cool. Here we go. Okay. I don't, I've I did not do the double masters before, so we'll, I, I think, we'll see. I think the first double masters was a complete reprint set. Mm. I don't know if there were any new cards. Okay. So so maybe this is another reprint only set, which you know what? I'm okay with because then I don't have to worry about any new cards yeah. and all that. I mean it does say more powerful reprints. Yeah, so... So maybe it is only reprints. I don't know. Okay. Sure. Okay, after that, we've got another Jump Start. Yes. Jump Start 2022. Um, yeah, I love Jump Start, so... That was one of the first things we talked about on Magic for Normies when we started this, <gasps> yes. was Jump Start. Jump Start. One yeah, of the I first episodes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm all down for Jump Start 2022. The first one was great. Yeah. I enjoyed it myself, so I'm down for more Jumpstart, for sure. And it looks like it's going to pretty much be the same thing. Like, dozens of themes to mix and match with yep. plenty of amazing reprints. Yep. Love it. Love it. Love down it. For, when, when does it come out? Fourth quarter. Okay, Fourth cool. Quarter so, like, a holiday set. Mm-hmm. Holiday set. Awesome. Yeah, that'll be fun. And, and before we jump into all the universes beyond, the one thing I do <laughs> like is they're only doing four standard sets this year and not five again. Right. Which I thought the five standard sets was fine they did for this year. Mm-hmm. But I, I wouldn't want that every year, though, because that just seems like too many. Yeah, it's a lot. And I mean, like, the way um, the way they've done is to the, these two Innistrad sets, like, they've obviously purposefully done it. So yeah. it's a thing. But yeah, we don't, we don't need that every year. Exactly. For exactly. sure. Okay, let's keep going. Oh my gosh. We're almost okay. done. We're almost done. Whew, exploring universes beyond. Okay, now this is a touchy subject. Am I right? Yeah, it is. And universes beyond. Okay. I, I feel like our next episode, I want to dive a little bit deeper into it, but okay. I don't I don't want this to go on for another hour. I know we're already pushing 
you know, we're already pushing two hours. Here, yeah, so. we, we can just skim over these. And yeah, def yeah, we can definitely deep dive into Universes Beyond in an upcoming episode. Yes. For sure. Um, so we already kind of knew about the Warhammer 40,000, right? Yeah, they, they. I think when they first announced it, they mentioned there were going to be commander decks for Warhammer. And uh -huh. did they announce when they're coming out? Uh, um, these will be available later in 2022. Oh, yeah, don't say so. when. Yeah. yeah. Um, with four commander decks and space marines, like that right there, that's not for me. Uh uh. No. Nope. I don't know anything about Warhammer 40k. Um, I know I've played. So there's like two versions of Warhammer. There's the 40k and then regular Warhammer. Regular Warhammer is like the more fantasy okay. version of it. It, it ba basically Warcraft took a lot of inspiration from the original Warhammer. Okay. Um, and Warhammer 40K is like the StarCraft version of it. Gotcha. If you want to, if just for like comparison. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely like not my aesthetic at all. Yeah, it's, and, and not being into Warhammer at all, really. It's, right. I'm not really into it. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. I'm not like upset about it. I just don't. Yeah. I don't. I just don't care. It's it's not for me. I mean, for, maybe for, they're going to be commander decks, and I love commanders. So I don't know. Like maybe when when it comes out, I'll be like, oh, this is really cool. You know? I yeah. don't know. Yeah. I mean, there could be really cool cards in it, but for mm -hmm. people who love Warhammer, like this yeah. is going to be great sure. for them because there's some because. There's some diehard Warhammer people out there. Yeah. Okay, and then we also have the Lord of the Rings, Tales of Ugh. Middle Earth. Um, I, I think this one will be pretty cool, and I like that it's more of your typical, you know, it's your typical fantasy, obviously, Tolkien. Um, yeah. And I like that. I, I, I think it's a little weird that it's going to be an entire set, though. Yeah, it, so this is what I want to dive into more okay. in another episode. Sure, yeah, because this will is say, a lot. The one positive thing I will say about it is I like how the art they show is not based on the movies, and I hope it stays that way. I do not want to see, I don't want this to be related to the movies at all. Yeah, I think this art looks so good. I mean, like, look at Gandalf. This is, yeah. this is great. I love it. Yeah, it's very reminiscent of some of like the old 60s, 70s, and 80s Lord of the Rings art mm. that's been out there. Yeah, I like it. I think I'm definitely going to be into this one for sure. And it's going to have commander decks and yeah. oh, it says and secret lair drops as well. So uh, we'll see. Yeah, this is the one I'm not like. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into it later. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so we're moving on. Um, what is this? Secret the layer. Secret layer. In addition to the Lord of the Rings, more universes beyond come to magic with two more exciting partners. Uh oh. Fortnite. Fortnite. Everyone was up in arms about Fortnite. Everyone was definitely freaking out about this. So, um, so let yeah. me ask you a question. Have you ever played Fortnite before? No, I have not. Um, it, it's a battle royale game. You're familiar with battle royales? Yes, I play. Okay. I do not play them on purpose because I do not like them. Okay, that's fine. Um, I've played Fortnite before. Um, like I, I, I used to play it with a uh, Zoe. Yeah. Because uh, you, you know, it's, kids sure. love this game, and yeah, it's a pretty. Tons it's of a kids fun, play. casual game. And all that stuff, and I mean, it's popular for a reason. So, as it's much as popular for a reason, as much as I personally don't like seeing this in Magic, it's understandable why they're doing it. As much as I don't like it, well, and this is just a secret layer, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, and and, and, and there's no just... mechanically unique cards. There, it's... yes, it won't be. They're all mechanic. reprints. Yeah, it's it's going to be a reprint. Like I do not care. This. Yeah. Like, it's just a secret layer. It's going to be, like, what, five cards? And they're all going to yeah. be reprints with Fortnite art on them? Who cares? Yeah, it's, like I said... I don't care. I, I don't like it, but, you know, it's whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get it. Certainly not. 
but I just don't. I just, I don't care. It's a secret layer. It's just like the secret layers we talked about earlier. I'm not interested in all of those, and I won't be interested in this one either. Let let me ask you this. If the Fortnite secret layer had a card you really wanted, and the original printing was too expensive to get, would you get that secret layer? Yes. Okay. You mean like if it was like a... If it was like a Black Lotus and they reprinted it on the Fortnite. Can you imagine yeah. if they reprinted the Black Lotus in the Fortnite Secret Lair? Oh my god. Everyone would lose I mean, it. But yeah, if they reprinted the Black Lotus, yeah, I'd get the, that Secret Lair. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah. Like, but I mean, they wouldn't, but yeah. So I, right. I just wanted to ask I, that. Like, like, I, I would be the same way. Like, if the Fortnite one had a card I really wanted and then... The original printing's like a hundred or two hundred dollars, and like, oh, you can just buy it for thirty bucks. I'll be like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll get it. Yeah, I would. But otherwise, it's I'm probably no, I really get it. Yeah. I'm not gonna get it for the art. I don't. It care. doesn't appeal to me. Nah, so me either. Um, so Doctor Nilly asks in chat, is this stream also available for podcast? Yes, it is. So yes, if it is. you, so not only will this uh show show up on pixie kitten's youtube channel mm -hmm. um what in the next day or two something mm -hmm. like that um this yep. also is available on audio if you search for the magic with zuby rss feed it's available on every single um audio podcast thing out there spotify apple google everything all of them all of them like yeah e even some knockoff brands you've never heard of it's there <laughs> so the answer is yes in a couple of days yes it will be available yes yes that is correct okay let's move on from the Fortnite. next is um, this is a, next one's a weird one too the, okay so the next one is street fighter yeah that okay. one like is street fighter even still relevant um, Street Fighter celebrates its 35th anniversary in 2022. I don't know. I mean, I don't follow the fighting game scene at all. So is Street Fighter still a thing? Um, I mean, no. I think it's just... It's just Probably Street super Fighter. Popular, you know. And it's, you know, they're having this anniversary. So they're like, hey, let's make a secret lair for it. Sure. I mean, Wait I a love... second. What am I reading? You can find these mechanically unique cards oh, in the upcoming oh, Secret Lair drop. Oh, shit. We only play Captain on this stream here. Uh -oh. What the heck? Uh -oh. What the heck? Oh, no. These this are going to is... be mechanically unique cards. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, no. Just, just like The Walking Dead. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. Um... I'm not interested in Street Fighter, so I won't be getting that secret lair either. I mean, I loved Street Fighter on Super Nintendo as a kid, but you know, I, I never passed yeah. that. I just never really played it past that. Yeah. But hey, for people who are into it, cool. Sure. I mean, you like it? That's fine. I, I mean, there's going to be a Chun Li card. Chun Li was one of my favorite characters. Chun Li and Blanca, the green Hulk-looking dude. Yeah, I don't even know them. Sorry. As long as they have Jean-Claude Van Damme as <laughs> one of the cards. Because he was in the, the Street Fighter movie from the 90s. It was god-awful. Ooh. Wait, wasn't there wasn't there a relatively new Street Fighter that came out not that long ago? It Was it Street Fighter? Or was it a different old video game? Are you talking about Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat, yes. Yeah, okay. it came out earlier this year and it was god-awful. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Mr. Kitten watched that, and I was like, I, I'm not watching that. Please watch that on your own time. Horrible. Yeah. I oh, know. so, so real quick, the last thing to talk about. Yes. Um. Oh We're well, they talk. Yeah, done. they talk about the standard rotation. It's changing a little bit next year, but we don't. We don't really follow standard. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. So it, it looks like standard's gonna rotate. Um. Instead of it rotating next fall, it looks like it's going to rotate next summer. Oh, apparently, or something like that. That's interesting. I don't know. There's a little bit earlier. Something okay. like that. Whatevs. But whatevs. Um, 
Then, oh, last thing is Magic Comes to Netflix. <gasps> oh, they, yes! Magic Comes to Netflix! I mean, they announced that years ago, but now it feels like it's finally starting to it's come happening. to fruition. It's happening! Yeah. And they announced um, that the voice of Gideon is going to be Brandon Ruth, Superman. Yes! From the, from the Superman Returns movie from, what... 10 years ago, something like that? So, I remember him from um, The Arrow. You know, the WB show. Oh, was he in The Arrow? Yes. He was. But I stopped watching that show because it was literal trash. Oh, I I didn't watch it. I think the only one I ever watched was The Flash. I think he might have been in The Flash, too, though. Maybe as the same character. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he was also in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Oh, he was? Yes. Okay. <laughs> he was, he was. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like okay. I hope I hope the show is good, but who knows? Mm-hmm. I mean, hey, if it's a, if they actually try to follow like some of the lore that's been written, hey, it's an easier way for people to follow the lore if they don't want to read it. Cool. If not then hopefully it doesn't suck i don't know i just like gideon is not the character i would want the show to be about it's not who i would have picked i would have picked jace or teferi okay none of those people are people i would have picked would you have picked soren no no well well, who who would you have picked then because i don't know like liliana (laughs) I don't I mean, she's know. got a pretty tragic story. Yeah. With it, she would be like entertaining. Right? En- entertaining in a way because you know <gasps> she became she became a planeswalker to Fibble you know Fit. save her brother. That's a good one. Fibblethip. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. He's he's gets lost every single episode. Why didn't they make the freaking Netflix series about Fibblethip? If if Fibblethip is not in it, I will not watch it. I refuse. They didn't want to pay uh, Fibblethip too much money. He, he was too expensive. <gasps> Fibblethip was like being a diva. Yeah. Oh, They were like, we're just going to make this about Gideon. Bye. I don't know. We'll see. Pretty much. Who knows? I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. But eh, mm-hmm. eh. it's hard to say. I mean, well, we, well, we've seen how magic does outside of its card game. <laughs> Don't talk <laughs> about Magic Legends. We I, don't I talk bring up about Legends. Magic Legends, okay? You just did bring up Magic Legends. Listen. I was also referring to other failed Magic games, too. Like what? Like the Puzzle Quest game, the the Magic MOBA they made. Okay. I forgot what it was called. I've never heard of these things, so. Exactly, exactly. There you go. <laughs> Point proven. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I do. I, I do have some of the the magic comic books, the the new ones that come out. I need to get the the latest issue. I don't have the latest issue yet. Oh. I need to go to my comic store and pick it up. So that so those are good. Yeah, they're they're actually pretty decent. They're um the the art style is a little bit unique. Like the the planeswalkers, like Jace Frasca and all that, don't look exactly. Like how you're used to seeing them, but it's mm-hmm. unique enough and it's enjoyable enough too. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, interesting. Um, Holy crap, that was so a lot yeah, of stuff. So yeah, we talked about yeah. freaking everything from the Magic Showcase 2021, and there were so many announcements. Um, holy crap, I'm like brain dead now. But um, we know there's a lot of Magic product coming out. There's a lot happening. Yeah. And, you know, we're just of the mind, like, not everything might be for everyone. So just yeah. pick up what you want and move on from the rest of the stuff. That's how as, I think. As a lot of people say, the best way to consume magic content is buy the singles you want. You don't need to buy every single sealed product out there that's too expensive. Yes. Just buy the singles you want and dr nilly asked which of these is your most anticipated announcements for me dominaria united Ooh, um gosh i don't even know oh, um 
Oh, and the Commander Legends set, duh, D and D. Yeah, I'm I'm very excited for another Commander Legends set, and then I just really loved Jumpstart, so maybe the new Jumpstart oh, one right. too. That too. Yeah. yeah, and then also my most anticipated one is um, Crimson Vow. Oh, God, I cannot wait. And that one comes so out far, really soon. I know, because Midnight Hunt so far, oh, my God, it looks so, so good. good. I'm, so good, so good, so good, so good, so good, so good. We're going to have to do a pre-release stream of Midnight Hunt and Crimson Vow. Ooh, yes, let's and, do it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, so before we wrap up our stream for the night, we, I've got one game for us to play tonight. Mm. Um, okay. So this game. Do I need my lamp? Yeah, you definitely need your lamp. My yes. You definitely need lamp. your little lamp to light the way. To help, to help me light the way. Yes. So this is a game we have played before and, um, tonight's game is called Werewolves or Vampires. So, okay. Zuby, you are going, I'm going to um, make a statement or even, like, say name. Okay. So, Mr. Kitten came up with this list. Um, I don't oh, even God. know. I don't even know what's <laughs> on here. So, I'm going to say something, and you have to respond with werewolf or vampire. Okay. Okay? And you have to get as many as possible in 30 seconds. Okay, I'm going to set okay. my timer. Now, if you get every single one correct, then you win. If you get any of them wrong, then I win. And and the winner gets to choose an emote to spam in chat. An emote that everyone will get to spam in chat. Okay, so right. I'm setting my timer. All and right. And here we go. I'm going to say um, a statement, and you're going to say werewolf, werewolf or vampire. Or vampire. Okay, okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. They have sharp teeth. Oath. Yes, shapeshifters. Uh, werewolf? Yes, a mythical creature. Both. Yes, Joe Mangianello. Werewolf. <laughs> yes, Vlad the Impaler. Vampire. Yes, kick him in the nards. Werewolf? <laughs> yes! I don't know what this is! What? I don't know. Ehrlich of the Kraken Horde. Say that again? Ulrich of the Kralen Horde. Oh, <laughs> werewolf. Doesn't put down towels. Vampire? Yes! <laughs> Tom Cruise! Wait, say that again? Tom Cruise! <laughs> What? It's breaking up on me. Shit. Tom Cruise. Oh, vampire. Yes. Michael J. Fox. Werewolf. Underworld. Both. Hates the sun. Vampire. Hates the moon. Werewolf. 30 days of night. I don't know. <laughs> Both. No, it's vampire. Okay. Okay, we're running out of time. Blade. Uh, vampire. Huntmaster of the Fells. Werewolf. Soren. Vampire. Yes, that's it. Oh, oh God, what, what was that 30 days of night? That was a vampire thing. Oh, what the hell is that from? I think it's a vampire movie. Oh, yeah. damn. So, yeah. so you win. That's... So I won. <laughs> That was the only one you got wrong, though. I had no idea. <laughs> but you literally got all the rest of them, and I didn't know most of them. Like, when, when you said the kick him in the nards thing, I've never heard that before. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Where That was werewolf. Werewolf? I, I think I just took a guess, like, uh... You, you guessed right. It's from Monster Squad. I don't Never know. heard of that. Okay, yeah. listen, I'm not gonna have Mr. Kitten do that again. Yeah, he asked really hard questions. Like those, those are like right. Those are not normie questions. Those are like they didn't have anything to do with magic either. That's what I told him, and I was like, and then he wrote Soren at the very end. <laughs> I was like, okay. Oh okay, man. Okay, I'm, I'm picking an emote. Okay. All right, what are we spamming? We're spamming. Um, the glitch cat. Glitch cat? Yeah. 
<laughs> yes, glitch cat, glitchy glitch cat. Glitch cat. Okay, everybody. What are Search they glitching for you? The glitch cat. We are spamming the glitch cat. Glitchy cat, glitchy cat. It's not your fault. Oh, glitchy cat. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, um, somebody that thoroughly good, enjoyed that, that, and it was Mr. Kitten. <laughs> okay, buddy. Is probably laughing his ass off yeah he is in the other room so i can't actually see him oh okay yeah um but yeah that was fun so that is going to wrap up our episode for the evening uh, oh man yeah let's see if anybody is uh streaming um who can we send? Oh, the okay, so look, the Commander Guru is streaming some EDH right now. High powered Ooh. EDH. C EDH. And um I I played EDH with him, I don't know, I guess it was a, a month or a couple months ago. Was that the one that we played with Zach? Was I on that or was no. that or was that someone else? Yes, you were not on that one. Okay. I'm sorry. I can't remember. It's I know. It's, it's all right. It's a lot. It's a lot. So we're going to send a raid over to the Commander Guru. And y'all can go check out some um, CEDH, some high-powered EDH, and tell the Commander Guru that the normies said hi. Um, thank you all for hanging Ooh. out with us tonight. And we appreciate it. We hope you all have a really great rest of your evening. And we will see you next time. Boom. Bye. 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 Okay. Hold on. Stop streaming.